see, we, see, this is why I'm always mindful of what I say, because if I say something, then I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to honor those words. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to have to walk that walk. And I'm, I'm, I'm by my mom, right? We had a, we had a little, uh, my sister got married, right? They went to the little justice of the peace thing, did their little thing, right? So I'm here for the free food, of course. And I hear over in the corner a conversation between some of my little nieces. And they are, these kids are growing up in a politically charged environment, right? There's only a few times in history where the environment that the kid is growing up in has been so charged that it permeates down to their level, you know? And you would have to really, you would have to go to the 60s or to the run of President Obama to find children. Now, pausing being kids for a moment to make political commentary or to make a voice of political opinion and you know, when a child who doesn't quite understand the whole realm of a situation makes a comment, it's it's going to come, you know, it's spoken through through the vernacular lens of a child. And one of my little nieces, guys, in a discussion that she's having with other little nieces under the age of 10, says they should have shot him in the head. And I had to pause in the middle of scooping my Cajun, my Cajun Joes, right, on Claiborne and Caffin, <laughs> Claiborne and Tupelo in the night war, you know. I had to pause for a second in mid-scoop of rice to say, no, 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 no. Like several adults in the room was like, no, 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 no. He should not have been shot in the head. Because our disagreement with him is on policy, not whether or not he should have the right to life. See, we're not going to become white folk right here. And that's why I had to intervene is because we're not going to become white folk where we wish in debt on people. We're not going to do that. We're not going to succumb to that. See, you don't have to have religion to have morals. This is a, this is, I'm displaying it right now. You don't, you don't have to go bring a 10% to some scammy ass preacher to know right from wrong. You could just be simply raised the right way. And I was raised the right way. Thank you, Ronald. I was raised the right way. Enough to say no to a child. We're not going to wish that on nobody. We're not going to become white folk. Well, what you what you're talking about, TJ? You know, I keep receipts. You know, my messy black ass is going to keep a receipt. This is an article by the New York Times. That's reflecting upon the death of Dr. Martin Luther King. And how you see that word right there, glee. That's a that's a synonym for happy. <laughs> OK. Happy. You don't even have to break out a thesaurus. Cheerful. Elated. Joyful. I can go on and on. I am a thesaurus. I can go on and on. Just take my word for it. That word glee right there in the context of this headline is referring to the overall atmosphere, the mood of white folk in Mississippi. Upon hearing the news that Dr. King was shot, not just in Mississippi, in all of these disgusting ass, gutter ass Confederate states and many of the northern states, certain parts of Chicago, of Chicago, Illinois, certain parts of northern New York. OK, certain parts of California. They, there's racist white folks scattered all across this country. Don't just get into the business of thinking that all of them exist below the 33. No, 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 below a parallel. No, no, they're, they're not all just south of Memphis. Racist ass white folk. This country was born, was the birth of this nation is racist ass white folk. 
right? If there's anything causing a division, like the little white boy came on my channel and said, you're just spreading division. No, motherfucker. You bitches invented division. You, you're so much the author and the creator of, of division. You named me after a color knowing fucking well you got me from a place. You started calling me a fucking color to create division. That's what the fuck division is, little old Miss fan. Since you want to come on my channel, I told you, don't come fuck with me right now. This is a different TJ. There's pre-George Floyd and there's post-George Floyd. Don't fuck with post-George Floyd. Number one, he got too much fucking time on his hand. It ain't shit funny no more. They were excited. They cheered. Glee. Satisfaction. Satisfaction over the death of someone that they constantly throw in my face today. They constantly tell me today, you're nothing like Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King wanted us all to be together. And I'm looking at him like, well, why in the fuck did you shoot him then? If I'm nothing like Dr. King and I should be more like Dr. King, then why in the fuck did your white uncles shoot him in his head? Y you see, y you see this, 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 this horrible balance that we have to tread upon when we're dealing with this thing called a white Christian. These motherfuckers are evil. And when I call them evil, I got a, I'm, I told you, I'm a vending machine of shit that white folk do. I, you can, you can put in 50 cent, press a fucking button and out pop some shit that they've done. That's what I, I out pop that. I need to just change my fucking name from TJ to Tyrone to out pop. Just press a fucking button and out pop a fucking receipt of something they've done. They've said they've, they're, they're genocide. We're not together. We're never going to be together. I have about 5% of the people I fuck with are white and I love them unconditionally. I'm first cousin. I love him unconditionally. Somebody fuck with my first cousin. I'm going I'm to break a Thunderbird bottle and jug you right in your fucking throat. Because that brother is a real brother. Which means that he understands the context. Hey, I'm Jazz, I'm talking about you. He understands the context for which I'm tackling this race shit. He knows I'm not talking about all white people. I have never made my issue about all white people. Because I understand if not for white Presbyterians, we would still be slaves. <laughs> I understand that it wasn't a God or Jesus. It was white folk who just said this shit is wrong. Who were born. There was a group of them who were atheists who just said this shit is wrong. It's wrong to rape, a, rape an African-American woman. It's wrong to enslave these people. It's wrong to take them from their land. It's wrong. This All this shit is wrong. And it's, well, you're just being a victim. You're not being a motherfucking victim. The Jews get uh, the Jews are allowed to to acknowledge their sorrow and their pain and they went that they went through. But now we have some shit called Project 2025. That's that, that this is that glee with satisfaction shit. See, they're about to shoot Dr. King in his head again. Just as wrong as it was in 1968, it's going to be wrong this time. Because why? Now they want to kill his legacy. First you shot him in his fucking head. Now you want to shoot down everything that the man stood for. The fuck you mean? Trump, what the fuck you mean? Black jobs. So we're not supposed to have a job unless it's working for you, Marshall? Unless I'm doing something for you, Marshall? That's why I said one of the most dangerous motherfuckers walking the planet Earth right now is not, in fact, a white Christian. It's a black Trump supporter. If you encounter any of these people, including 50 Cent, including the rapper 50 Cent, if you encounter any of these motherfuckers. These are some of the most dangerous black motherfuckers walking the face of the earth, of the earth. Because why? The white man bucked their stupid ass up to make songs about killing us. Now you getting right there and supporting his agenda to kill us again. And we need to stop dancing to the beat of shit that is to our destruction. I don't give a fuck if the beat is good. 
New Orleans been having bounce music this whole time, and we ain't never killed nobody in one bounce song. We made bounce music about give me a two piece and a short set and some slippers. Huh? Pop that, pop that, pop that ass for a real nigga. That's the kind of shit that we were singing. While y'all were singing, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna cap him, I'm gonna catch him bodies, I'm doing all of this shit. All of this shit is to the glee and the satisfaction of them who want us dead. Trump is the drum major of these motherfuckers. Do I want him dead? No, I don't want him dead. Why? Because wrong is still wrong. The reason why I can turn to my little niece and say, no, we don't want him dead. We disagree with him on a policy. Not on him, not on him as a person. I don't know him as a person. I know his policies. I know his, I have, I've heard of his perversion, but him as a person, huh? I know of his prostitute wife. I'm going to stick with the P's right here. P, P, P. But him as a person is entitled to life because we're never going to become white folks wishing people to death because there's not enough of us. There's more of them wishing. If we want to get into this business of wishing people dead, there's more of them wishing upon a star that we die. Don't get, don't listen to me. Don't listen to me, black people. Don't become white folk. 